Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 31st of 2021. Well, it is titled M87's central black hole in polarized light. So what do we see here? Well, what is an image of a black hole look like? And that's what we're seeing here is an image taken by the Event Horizon Telescope, which combines radio telescopes scattered around the world to allow us to see at extremely high resolution and look into the central regions of many galaxies. And what we know exists there are black holes. And we've been able to determine that through other measurements, but to actually see and to get the resolution to see what we call the event horizon of a black hole is something very recent. Now the event horizon is essentially the point of no return around a black hole. When you get to the event horizon, your escape velocity will then match the speed of light. And since nothing can travel faster than light, that means nothing can escape from the event horizon of a black hole. And that's kind of what we see here. The shadowed region would be the event horizon of that black hole. And we can also see we are looking at the polarization of this. So it's following the magnetic field. And we can see some of the material around there kind of rotating around and into the black hole. And that would be expected as a black hole like this would have an accretion disk, a disk of material uh, that is spiraling in towards the black hole. So a black hole doesn't just pull things in. It does not act like a cosmic vacuum cleaner sucking everything in. In fact, things that are rotating around it will continue to do so and you can in fact orbit a black hole just as you could any other object. So here we see some of that material orbiting around an accretion disk and slowly spiraling towards the black hole. However, we also see another part that seems to go away from the black hole that pushes upward. Now this may be a sign of the origin of the jet of M87. This is the black hole at the center of the large galaxy in the Virgo's cluster. And it does have a very prominent jet expelling material out at extremely high speeds. And we now that we're finally looking into this central region, we may be beginning to see the origin of that jet. So this may help us to better be able to understand how these jets are formed and expel out material. We see these jets in lots of galaxies. So it's not associated just with M87. But we see this elsewhere in, as well on bigger and smaller scales. We actually see this on smaller scales within our own galaxy uh, with some very compact stars. But we see it on large scales here when we look at supermassive black holes that also expel out material perpendicular to the accretion disk. So the accretion disk is the disk of material spiraling in towards the black hole and along the polar axis then material is being expelled out at what we would call relativistic speeds very close to the speed of light or as fast as particles can possibly go and that expels outward. So looking at things like this with the Event Horizon Telescope are giving us a much better understanding of how the central black hole within a galaxy like this works. So that was our picture of the day from March the 31st of 2021. It was titled M87's Central Black, black Hole in Polarized Light. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be cleaning Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.